Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Do you Ubuntu? Hmm? If not, what's your excuse? I mean, I'm not saying that you have to run it as your primary operating system, but Ubuntu, a flavor, a distribution of Linux, certainly been around for a while. All the cool kids are using it, at least the cool kids using Linux. I can't say all the cool kids, because there's a lot of distros of Linux, like there are a lot of ice cream flavors to select from. Uh, ultimately, you've got to go with what tastes right for you. But Ubuntu is pretty much in the lead, as far as uh, distributions are concerned. They just released Jaunty Jackalope, that is version 904. Reviews have been mixed, but largely positive. Uh, you know, Ubuntu is getting more mature with each release, uh, becoming more stable, uh, certainly easier to use. And, you know, I I've uh, talked about Linux in the past, specifically uh, certain things that you can only get in Linux, like Compiz Fusion, it used to be XGL, Barrel, these nice, 3D effects. Uh, I've never seen anything like it on Windows or Mac OS X. Really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. So uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and download Ubuntu 904, Jaunty Jackalope from Ubuntu.org. That's U-B-U-N-T-U. -U -U. I think I spelled that right. If not, go to Google, search for it, and I believe you'll be able to pull it up or be able to correct your spelling. It's open source, so it's not going to cost you a thing, and you potentially have the opportunity to contribute back to the project at some point in the future if that happens to be something that you do you know if you like to develop and code and stuff but you may just be a regular user like me impressed with the uh, the smaller things that uh, you discover inside an operating system um, now if you want to run Ubuntu on your desktop you may want to use uh, virtual machine software any guesses as to what I'm running Ubuntu in right now this is virtual machine software right here on my desktop any guesses as to what this is any anybody care because there's a lot of uh, software out there that can allow you to run uh, an operating system inside a virtual machine that's not emulation mind you it's essentially giving the operating system access to your hardware so the virtual machine thinks it's actually sitting on a computer when in fact it's it's not it's kind of like an operating system that lives inside the matrix let's see here what do we got here oh of course everybody knows what i'm running now if you were going to say VMware or Parallels, while I have coupons for either one of those, this is neither. This is actually VirtualBox from Sun. The same people that brought you Java have also brought you open source virtualization technology for your desktop. I'm running it here on Mac OS X. So I'm running an open source operating system inside virtual machine software that's also open source. Oh. Oh. It gets better. Watch this. Guarantee you're not going to be able to find this in Parallels or VMware Fusion at this point in time. You see that? You see the nice 3D effects I've got going on there? The Compiz Fusion stuff that I have, right? Yeah, you see it? You see what's going on there? Yeah. They enabled 3D acceleration in the latest version of VirtualBox. So now you can install Ubuntu. Uh, really any Linux distribution, but of course most people are going to use Ubuntu. You can get all the wacky effects the wobbly windows and everything, right there, on your desktop. Not going to cost you a thing. It's all open source. The operating system, of course. Compiz Fusion, naturally, and VirtualBox from Sun. VirtualBox.org. Oh, yeah. You can uh, download the manager, of course, and then you get uh, access to all the special effects. I'm just flipping between desktops right now. Uh, I can also flip between the cubes on a cube desktop, you know, flip back and forth. You see how smooth that is? It's insanely smooth. It'd be just as smooth on your desktop. Nice, huh? Isn't that crazy? I've never seen Compiz Fusion running inside a virtual machine before. Right here, on the desktop. I can go full screen as well, if I wanted to. I can just go full screen. I'm not going to do that right now because I want to show you that I'm running Ubuntu right here, at least inside of uh, the operating system itself. Yeah, I can browse the folders move the windows around it's so nice it's so easy it's fun to run an operating system like this just give it a shot it doesn't cost you a thing so what do you got to do you got to download ubuntu you got to download virtualbox you got to install ubuntu in virtualbox you may need to read the directions i'm not here to instruct you on everything at this point in time or maybe uh, one of you out there can do a follow-up video on how to install ubuntu inside of sun's virtualbox anybody care to do a screencast on that 
and leave it as a video follow up. I'll, I'll leave it to the community to do. Uh, you know, you're you're more than welcome to do that. Of course, the big thing that you, you'll need to do after you've installed Ubuntu or really any Linux distro inside of VirtualBox is install the guest editions, which should be a menu item in VirtualBox. You have to do that in order to enable uh, the uh, Compiz Fusion like effects. Then, of course, then you're able to change the the you know display and all the other things that you get with the the guest editions. It's it's kind of essential if you plan on running Ubuntu inside a virtual machine. So, my recommendation for Linux virtual machines right now, at least for you know average play, is VirtualBox. Even though I'm running VMware Fusion. On this particular computer, uh, it's accessing the boot camp partition on the hard drive so I can get to all my Windows programs. I run every operating system, I'm telling you, and I'm going to be running Ubuntu a heck of a lot more right here. This is just, oh, I just love that. Wobbly Windows only with Compiz Fusion. And yeah, like I said, uh, you can download the manager. Uh, it, I don't know, for some reason it doesn't come bundled with the, uh, the Compiz Config settings manager. Of course, I've toggled a few things. Uh, already and uh, turned on what I liked or turned off what I didn't like. A lot of things to configure. Uh, do it on your own though, because it's not going to cost you a thing. Cool, huh? Well, I think it's cool. Now, if you think it's cool too, awesome. Leave a comment. Let me know if I should be uh, sharing any other tips or tricks related to virtual machines or Linux or Ubuntu or whatever. Drop me a line. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you know you can find us hanging out with uh, tech enthusiasts, much like yourself, I'm guessing if you're watching a video on Ubuntu and virtualization. Geeks.perillo.com is that particular web address. A lot to do there. Uh, you can post your own reviews of software, hardware. You can embed YouTube videos. Uh, it's, it's really a place for fellow geeks to geek out, and we're fine with that. And, and we're also, uh, you know, typically talking tech inside this chat room. That's a part of the live video feed that's going out as I was doing this particular um, uh, video live in front of a virtual studio audience. The video feed itself is uh, open all the time. It's always on, always. And even if I'm not in this chair, um, people are in the chat room. I keep pointing, it looks like I'm pointing to the desk, but I'm trying to point underneath the laptop right, right here, or right there. See the chat there? What you've been following along, everyone hopefully has been playing along nicely. I hope we didn't have to flip the moderated bit. Sometimes they get a little wild this late at night. Because this is what we do late at night. We uh, <clears throat> play with operating systems on our virtual machines. And we just move Windows around for the sake of moving them around. That's that's all. That's all, I'm, that's all I wanted to do is just move Windows around. doesn't take much to make me happy, really. Anyway, if you, if you want to join us in the chat room, you're more than welcome to. We're waiting for you. What are you waiting for? We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.